What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to crack web encryption using a fully automated utility called Garrick's Wi-Fi Cracker. Now Garrick's does come pre-installed on your Backtrack 5 distribution bundle, so you should have it. But before we begin, we need to connect our wireless network adapter. And for this tutorial, I am using an alpha network adapter and it supports packet injection and monitor mode. Your device will also need to support those things. And if it doesn't, you'll need to obtain a new device that does. And if you're not sure, go ahead and do some Google research and find out. So once we've connected our network adapter, we need to navigate to our main menu, Applications, Backtrack, Exploitation Tools, Wireless Exploitation Tools, WLAN Exploitation, and then here we can open Garrick's Wi-Fi Cracker. Now in Garrick's, the first thing we need to do is we need to select the Configuration tab. And below Interface, you should see the name of your network adapter. And the first thing we need to do is select our network adapter and then select set random MAC address. And this is more of a security precaution. And now we need to select enable slash disable monitor mode. And what this is going to do is it's going to put our device into monitor mode and create a virtual interface called Mon Zero. Okay, now that we've put our device into monitor mode, we need to scan for available access points. Now you can specify the channel that you want to scan as well as the length of the scan. I recommend using all channels for a length of 10 seconds. Once you've done that, go ahead and select Rescan Networks. And you can see that Garrix has finished the scan, producing all of the available access points. What we need to do now is we need to select the access point that we want to perform this attack on. And you'll notice it has the ESS ID, the BSS ID, channel, the signal strength, and the encryption. You'll want to make sure that the access point is using WEP encryption. So go ahead and find the access point and select it. And once you've done that, we're going to navigate to the WEP tab. And under General Functionalities, we want to select Start Sniffing and Logging. And this is going to open the Sniff Dump window. And you'll see here under BSS ID and Station that there are currently no clients associated with this access point. And what we need to do now is we need to associate ourselves with this access point. So go ahead and select Web Attacks No Client. And then we're going to be using a fragmentation attack. So to associate ourselves, we need to select Associate with AP using Fake Authentication. And if you'll refer over to the Sniff Dump window, you'll see that we are now associated with the access point. So what we need to do now is we need to select Fragmentation Attack. And it's going to ask us to specify whether or not we want to use this packet. Go ahead and type Y for yes and press enter and if you get this statement that says got a deauthentication packet don't worry about it allow it to continue it will eventually be successful and you can see here now it's finished what we need to do now is we need to select create the ARP packet to be injected on the victim access point and if you look down here in the status it'll say ARP packet created now what we need to do is select inject the created packet on victim access point it's going to ask us whether or not we want to use this packet. Type Y for yes. And once we press enter, refer to the sniff dump window and watch the data level. You'll notice here that the data level is increasing rather rapidly. That's what we want because what we're doing is we're basically creating a high volume of traffic on that network. And that's going to help us retrieve what are called IVs or initialization vectors. And we're going to be using those to crack the web key. So once that data level reaches at about 5,000, we're going to want to select the cracking tab and then we're going to select the option aircrack ng decrypt web password and this is going to start the aircrack process so you can see here my data level is now reaching 5000 so I'm going to go ahead and select aircrack ng and you can see here in the aircrack window it is already finished the key has been found all you need to do is remove those colons and that is your password now back in the Garrix utility if you select the database tab You'll see here that it is logged the access point, the BSS ID, the channel number, as well as the web key. So you can always refer back to your database later if you want to find a password. And that's it. That's how you use Garrett's Wi-Fi Cracker to decrypt a web key. 